Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. and if you're new here, today's video is going to be a wear test and review on the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So I was um, editing my video and I realized that I didn't do an intro. So here's my intro. So let's get started. So I have two different shades in the foundation. I have this one, which is 4.30, and then this one, which is 4.40. So I have this little sheet right here. Um, basically, it shows you the shade range for the foundation. So as you can see, it comes in 32 shades, and then it shows you the different categories for the shades. So we have light, light, medium, medium plus, and deep. So I'm kind of confused as to where the tan section is and the fair section, and then the deep, I don't think all of those are gonna be categorized as deep, but let me show you where I am with the shades that I picked, so 4.3, is right here and that is going to be characterized as a warm and then 4.4 .4 is here and that is characterized as a neutral so beauty blender uh describes a warm as i have golden or red undertones i typically get darker in the sun and never burn neutral is i have equal parts warm and cool undertone and i typically get darker in the sun and sometimes burn We'll talk about that later. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. It's a really good container. I like it. It has one fluid ounce, so standard for um, most foundations. And then it has the lock on and off, and then little pump, and your little beauty blender compartment that you can fit your beauty blender in. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So that's 4.3, and that's 4.4. I'm gonna just swatch it, 4.3. This is 4.4. 4. Um, right now I don't like any one of them. Let me see. It's gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna blend this one out, 4.3. Definitely gonna be too light for me. And then 4.4. 4.4 4. 4 is a slight Slight bit dark, um, but I think I'm just gonna go with that one for today. I already have my primer on. The undertone of the uh, 4.3 isn't that orange like it looked on uh, Trend Mood, but it's pretty warm, pretty warm. I think I'm just gonna mix them. So what's remaining on this, I'm just picking it up with the Beauty Blender. So that's 4.3, and then the majority I'm going to put is 4.4. what it looks like so far. I actually really like the finish. It claims to be a velveteen matte finish. So it's supposed to be skin light, but still oil controlling. And it also claims to be, let me, let me get this right. 24 hour wear. I don't see the shade, like the coverage. What kind of coverage? I'm guessing it's supposed to be a medium buildable coverage. It seems pretty full though. So I'm going in with the 4.4. What the foundation looks like after blending everything together i do think it looks pretty pretty good everything will be balanced once i add concealer but that's what the compartments are looking like now um so i guess you would just go in and wipe it clean yeah so you would just go ahead and wipe it clean but i think i'm going to clean it a little bit more um by the pumps but I do like the compartment very innovative compartment so the foundation does retail I'm gonna put on my concealer as I talk the foundation retails for $40 and it is exclusive to Sephora at the moment again it comes in 32 shades and then I had the shades 4.3 and 4.4 4.3 is Fourth from the last shade, 4.4, three from the last shade, so it ends at 4.7. So 
So, you guys, let's talk about this foundation because it's it's a topic of discussion. So, I just want to uh, let you guys know that I did not pay for these foundations. I got them in gratis. If you don't know, I work for Sephora. So, keep that in mind. I got both of them in gratis, which is really nice because we don't only get one foundation. We don't get two. So, shout out to the Beauty Blender rep that gave me two foundations because I was in between shades. Um, very sweet. She doesn't even know that I do YouTube videos. So the fact that she left that is pretty nice. Um, because we were trying to figure out my shades. I had I had makeup on, so she couldn't really match me down to the T. I was gonna just go with 4.4, but she surprised me and left me 4.3 as well because that was my right undertone. So thank you so much, Shannon, so sweet. All right, so I got those two foundations completely free. I was going to buy it actually, but they told us we were getting it in gratis. I didn't know we were gonna get full size. I thought we were gonna get like a deluxe size sample. So thank you to Beauty Blender for giving us a full size foundation. But that doesn't change my thoughts. You guys know that <laughs> on foundations. So far the formula is very nice. I am just not here for the shade range at all. I do think that it just didn't make sense to have all those medium shades. Like you have 32 shades and 14 of the 32 shades are in the medium plus category. So there was a little note that said that the creator of Beauty Blender is Latino and that she wanted to concentrate on those undertones that are missing in most brands and trust me I get it I match people every day most um Hispanic Latino people do have um more of a like olive undertone or peachy undertone that a lot of brands are mis missing so it is hard to match them don't get me wrong like, I definitely get where she's coming from with that but you gotta remember girl Latinos come in all shades. There's fair Latinos, there's medium Latinos, there's tan Latinos, there are dark Latinos. So why didn't you feel the need just to make an equal shade range and then work on the undertones where you thought they were missing? I just, I don't get that. I'm confused. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to even tell you guys this, but the Beauty Blender rep said that they made 45 shades of the foundation but Sephora only bought 32. And keep in mind that Beauty Blender is Sephora exclusive. I'm not gonna get myself in trouble, I work for Sephora. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that makes a difference if the 45 shades that they made included more fair shades and more dark shades and we're just not seeing it because of the ones that the retailer bought. Um, I hope not. But you know, it's a business. <laughs> At the end of the day, the foundation is still doing well because I work for Sephora and I can tell you that it's still doing well because I'm always on the Sephora app and they show you the things that are best sellers, things that are, you know, good at the time. And on the Sephora app, you can see that Beauty Blender Foundation is a best seller. They still making money. A lot of people still come into the store and ask for it. So it's like whatever, you know? Um, again, the formula is pretty nice right now. As I'm applying my concealer, I do like how it looks on the skin. Just not here for the shade range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and complete my makeup and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in natural light. I'm gonna probably wear it for about 10 hours. So I'll let you guys know how that is. Remember, it claims to be a 24 hour wear. So we'll see how that goes. So this is what my makeup is looking like. Everything blended quite well onto the makeup. So we'll just see how it wears and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I am outside. This is what it looks like in natural light. It looks pretty good, right? I really like it. So I'm on my way to work. So we'll see how it wears with all the talking and all the heats and everything. And I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, I am back. It's the end of the day and it is now 9 29 p.m so i've had this on since around nine o'clock so about a 12 hour wear test for this foundation so let me zoom on in so you guys can see it okay so we're up close and personal to my face i'm looking at the monitor in case you're trying to figure out what i'm looking at but i do have a mirror here as well so the foundation looks quite well um it looks pretty smooth 
again it was a velveteen matte finish so i do agree with that as you can see i don't really have too much shine on this part of my face but um if you don't know if you haven't seen any of my videos i am more normal to dry skin this summer i have a little bit more combo ness in my skin right now some oily mrt zone so my nose is shiny so as you can see that's really the only place that's really shiny my nose a little bit on my chin and my forehead so the makeup isn't really coming off my nose but it's definitely shiny there and then the one thing that i am impressed with uh, for a 12 hour wear with the foundation is my smile lines they're not really that deep um so that's impressive because it was definitely a full work day today and i was talking to different people and i think that it looks really nice actually the formula is pretty good pretty good so I just want to remind you guys that I did mix both shades, the 4.3 with the 4.4, and I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I'm just going to use the 4.4 because earlier in the day when I had the makeup on, when I was in natural sunlight <laughs> and when I was in the store, I felt that around my mouth area looked really dull, like really ashy. I even asked my coworkers, I was like, what y'all think about this foundation? And a lot of people said it looks ashy around your mouth and I completely agree, that's why I was asking them. Um, so I'm definitely gonna make, not gonna mix them because I felt like the way that they dried down around my mouth, which is my darker area, I have more hyperpigmentation around my mouth. The undertone was just not working there. It looked really ashy and I was not here for it. So it doesn't look ashy now because I bronzed it up because I was not gonna be walking around in the makeup store helping people with my mouth ashy. So yeah, um, but this is what it looks like right now. I do like it. I like the color. I think I can make it work with just the 4.4. That's just gonna be my shade. I'm not gonna try to mix them together. So, you know, I'm okay. Um, so let me just go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. So I picked up some samples of shades in the store, um, basically the dark category. So again, let me just show you the chart right here. <laughs> this is so funny to me, but the dark category is right here. So I picked up some of these shades. I don't have all of them because we didn't have all of them in the store, but we're gonna start off with shade. Keep in mind, this is the dark category. So this is shade 4.1 4.1 and that is described as a cool olive 4.1 is a cool olive <laughs> this shade is four point two. 4.2 is described as a warm. I can see that. 4.2 is a warm. And then let me just swatch the 4.3 and the 4.4. That is the 4.3. 4.3 is described as a warm as well. And then that is the 4.4, which is described as a neutral. We didn't have the shade 4.5 in my location. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they didn't send it to us, but we didn't have 4.5. Um, and then this is 4.6 after the 4.4 and then there is a 4.7 which we also didn't have in the store so there are technically one two, technically there are seven shades in the deep category and as you can see I don't know if this is, you know, my opinion or from tripping. I don't think 4.1 and 4.2 are categorized as deep. I would say that is more of a tan shade. What do you guys think? Do you think that's tan or do you think that's deep? Because I don't think that's deep, okay? And then as you can see, there is a jump from the 4.1 going to 4.2. That's a cool olive and a, what is 4.2, a warm? Definitely a jump, definitely a weird undertone jump. And then we have a 4.3, which is also warm, which I think is a weird jump from 4.2. Um, you wouldn't think that 
since they're one shade down they would be so different from one another and then 4.4 is just you know that's where I would say it's dark because I don't even know is this really dark yeah I'll say it's dark but I don't know about the undertone 4.4 which I'm gonna stick with my shade and then that's 4.6 we are missing 4.5 right here but when I did see it, it was a darker shade we just didn't have it in the store and 4.6 is a deeper shade which is a pretty nice shade and again I mentioned that there are seven shades in the deep category and I have five of them here on my hand so you guys I don't know if I'm tripping or what but do you remember when I was describing the undertones for you guys? They described warm as I have golden or red undertones and I typically get darker in the sun and never burn. Neutral is described as I have equal parts warm and cool undertones. I typically get darker in the sun and sometimes burn. And then cool is I have pink or blue undertones. I tend to burn easily. Now the blue undertone is definitely understandable. Most deep, deep skin people have more of like a blue violet hue to their skin so I get that I get that and 4.7 is definitely a good dark shade I wish we had it in the store so I could show you 4.7 is nice um but those jumps I'm not here for and how are we describing warm as golden or red undertone isn't golden warm and then red cool am I tripping isn't that what we've all learned so why are you telling me that warm and neutral are still anyway Anyway, um, so <sighs> for 32 shades of a foundation, I just don't get why you just split it up like that. Why do you have 14 shades in the medium plus category? And when I was swatching those, I didn't even like the undertones of them. I'm like, who are going to fit these undertones? Um, maybe if I, um, I didn't really have too many Latino people come in and ask me for Beauty Blender Foundation today. So maybe I can, you know try it on some people and figure out the undertones but even when I was watching them I was just like there is a lot of people who are missing from this foundation and it's pretty sad because the formula is really good I actually really like the way my skin looks and I did get compliments on the foundation so it's pretty sad that a lot of people are not going to be able to wear it and who's going to buy two $40 foundations not I not me no thank you I am not going to do that um so it, it sucks and I'm definitely feel bad for a lot of the people in the fair categories people in the dark category even in the light category I'm like if you light if you fair if you tan and if you deep you don't got a shade in beauty blender foundations that's you don't got a shade but if you medium or medium plus go ahead and get you a foundation from beauty blender because they cater to you don't they? They cater to you. Um, but yeah, the formula is good. I'm not going to take away from the wear test. The formula is good if you have a shade in the foundation. It's definitely a good foundation. Go ahead and try it if you want to. Um, I do like it. I'm probably going to continue to wear it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm probably going to continue to wear it. Um, but I hope that they do learn from this because people were not here for it. I hope they do learn from it that they, you know, come back out with those other shades that we're missing because they made 45 shades. Um, and hopefully those shades are good and that they put it in the lineup for what we can choose. And let me please, um, let me go in and put some more information in that. When I said that, um, I was told that they made 45 shades and that Sephora only bought 32. It was also said that Beauty Blender got to chose which 32 shades they wanted on the shelf. So, you know, if they didn't want to put the darker shades and the fairer shades out there, that's up to them. But there is about, what is that, 13 shades missing from the lineup that I was told about. I don't know how accurate that information is. Um, so yeah. Just annoyed, to be honest. Just really annoyed because the formula is definitely good. The packaging, the packaging is so innovative, you know. Um, and it's a nice foundation. The fact that it didn't really settle into my smile lines that much. And the oil control is there for 12 hour wear. I did not touch up, by the way. I don't touch up when I do these wear tests. Um, I feel like my skin looks pretty good and the fact that a lot of people are not going to be able to try this foundation is pretty sad. And again, um, even though it worked out for me, mixing the shades still didn't work out because the undertones were off in the, you know, the variance of the shades. So from one shade to another, the undertones were off. So even mixing them together, it just didn't work out. Um, because again, it looked dull on my mouth and I didn't use that much of the 4.3. Um... 
So I'm confused. This love-hate relationship with this Beauty Blender foundation. Um, still like the Beauty Blender sponge. It's just it's popping. Foundation is innovative. Formula is pretty nice. The shade range is just not there, unfortunately. And as a big brand, I would think that they would have took more time to definitely make sure that they developed uh, equal parts of all shades so that everyone or most people could try to get a shade to work for them. Um, Beauty Blender is not a small company. They have money. They make money from these $20 sponges. So the fact that this is what we got for the deep category is actually very disappointing. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on the fact that the shades are not there in this lineup because I'm sure a lot of reviews that you've watched, if you were interested in watching the reviews, already touched on it that the shade range is just not there for this foundation. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you have not, I would love for you to like the video. Give me a thumbs up. It definitely helps me out. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordine. And please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.